Shalom Amak, giving your brother Kanan back at you with the truth. Start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashin, Yahweh Shai, Bahashin, Rakakadash. Double honors and respect go to the apostles and elders of great millstone who well and teach well and lead Israel by great example to this day. Peace and salutation go to the elect, teaching and preaching his truth, his righteousness, purity, and sincerity. And waiting on Yahweh Shai, whom the world only called Jesus Christ for salvation. Shalom, my king. The water y'all by Shemir Hashem put the spirit upon me to come out here another camp week. All right. Here to preach to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. All right. The name of the heavenly father is Yahweh, whom the world only called Jehovah, God. All right. Yahweh. All right. The name of the only begotten son. His name is Yahamashiach, Yahweh Shai, whom the world only called Jesus Christ. All right. When you call upon your power, you must say Yahweh, which means he exists, he's to be. Which is spelled Y A H A W A H Bahashim, which is coming in the name of, which is spelled B A H A S H A M. Right, you gotta separate the Ba and the Ah and the Shem. Alright, the Shem means name. Alright, the Halashai, which means he saves, he delivers, the anointed one. Alright, which is spelled Y A H A W A S H I. All right, the name of the only begotten son of the heavenly father, Yahweh Shai. All right, Bahashim, which is coming in the name of Rakakadash. All right, which is the Holy Spirit. That's good. That give us this wisdom and understanding of, these, of the Holy Scriptures, uh, which is spelled R A W C H A A. All right, Q A D A S H. All right, which is Holy Spirit. All right, and this is sent from on high. All right, we are to preach to, uh, to the lost. We are here to preach to the 12 tribes of Israel. All right, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, which is consists of the Negro, Latinos, Native Americans. All right, you are biblical Hebrew Israelites. You're not African and American. You're not Spanish. All right, you're not Native American. All right, you are Hebrew Israelites. Okay. All right. Begin with the uh, the top tribe of the Southern Kingdom, which is Judah. All right, which consists of three tribes in that kingdom which are the so-called Negroes, so-called African-Americans, all right? All right, and this is where our Lord sprang out of, the tribe of Judah, from the offspring of David, all right? The root of David, man, okay? Who Jesse begot David, our Lord, our, our King David. Our Lord sprung out of the tribe of Judah, and the Hebrew name for Judah is Yahawada, which means Yahweh thanks, all right? All right, this is where our Lord sprung out of. All right, Benjamin, Levi. That that's three uh, tribes in one in the Southern Kingdom, and Ephraim. All right, which is the so-called Puerto Ricans. All right, they're the head of the uh, head of the Northern Kingdom. Ephraim. All right, head of the Northern Kingdom, which consisted of Latinos, Native Americans, going on down to the uh, all right, Nathalie. All right. Argentinians, Chileans, all right, which consists of nine tribes. Are right, you see a tribe upon this chart? Consider yourself blessed. All right, consider yourself blessed. You're a Hebrew Israelite according to the Bible. All right, you, this is not made up. All right, the Heavenly Father, all right, uh, appointed everybody and their nations. All right, just like you got a uh, the so called white man is uh, Edom, Esau, Edom. All right, they're, they're the biblical. Hebrew Edomites, the so-called Chinese, all right, are the biblical Moabites, all right, the so-called uh, Japanese are the biblical Ammonites, the so-called uh, uh, the so-called Arabians, all right, the so-called uh, Arabians are the so-called Ishmaelites. Everybody got a nation. Nobody, nobody's not designated and named by their colors or named by the nation that they live in. They're, 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 everybody has a nation, okay? The Africans, all right? Uh, uh, they are the so-called Hamites, which is broken down to the uh, Miz Mizrianites, all right? Which is e Egyptians, they're the Egyptians, all right? Kushites, Canaanites, all right? The Africans are, are, are not us. We are Hebrew Israelites. We are princes of the power, all right? We are the Heavenly Fathers, all right? Uh, our children. All right, sons and daughters, the Negro Latinos, Native American, they like to call themselves black, uh, Spanish, all right, I'm, I'm Indian, 
when when there none of these terms these, were, these terms were given as proverbs and bywords by the other nations especially uh, uh the so-called white man which is esau all right the so-called white people are esau man the reason why he's called esau because he's what all right he's uh, uh he was hairy, he was red and hairy all over okay and, and then with the with the Hawa, through his son Yahushai called him Edom, which means red. Right? Esau means wasted away. And what guess what's happening? Their kingdom is wasting away again. Alright, because remember the, the Lord destroyed the Roman Empire and now he's getting ready to destroy the revised Roman Empire as well. Just like in the time of this uh, uh Jerusalem sage, where in which the so-called white people came and sacked the temple, alright, and had our people force up north. All right, I mean, force west and going up to the mountains. Okay, so guess where we end up in slavery, cargo to slave ships, transatlantic slave uh, trade. We end up here in this um, land that we don't know, America, in which the so called white man whipped the uh, Negro Latinos, Native Americans, backs to build his empire. So you got this empire by uh, rape, rob, and murder. All right, and, and, and theft. All right. That goes into Rob, okay? So, Lord willing, this camp lets us edifying, and I'm gonna do the best of my ability to edify, all right? All right, so we here to preach prophecy, the downfall of Babylon, the great, which is America, all right? And also the miracles that Yahweh Bashim is about to do for his, his servants, okay? Two thirds of our people gonna get uh, uh, cut off and die by the sword, all right? Once this, uh, once the Lord does his, uh, this, uh, uh, what's the Lord do his sealing? That's it. All hell breaking loose. Judgment is going to come throughout the four corners of the earth. All right. You're going to see race wars, riots, famine. All right. Shortage of food. All right. Uh, uh, um, and, and you're going to see the apocalypse. Uh, missiles are raining down on this place. This place in Israel. All right. You're going, to, uh, you're going to see the implementation of the karagma, which we're going. This is uh, the so-called white man, right? Is going to try to establish his what? His one world agenda, all right? The beast, and he wants people to worship the beast, which which is consists of the medical, political, all right? Democracy, okay? It's all of this is uh, all of this is uh, false false um, signs and wonders, man. Lying signs and lying wonders. And Lord willing, this less uh, this camp lesson is edifying and do the best of my ability to edify. All right, but we are entering a time of power in which the uh, in which Yahweh Shemashah is about to bestow that uh, uh, spiritual power upon us, man. All right, and people are about to witness this. People are about to witness the sons of Yahweh Shemashah, man. Okay, so. All right, because our Lord Yahweh Shai is coming back, and he ain't coming back with peace. He's coming back to send swords, man. Swords in different formation. All right, our Lord and Savior is coming back to send a sword upon this uh, upon this wicked, degenerate society. All right, full of abominations. Everywhere you go, they push abomination. All right, there's abomination in your food. All right, there's abomination. Abomination upon the water, abomination in the air, everything is making us sick, all right? Because these devils are in power, all right? So-called white people have done enough. It's time. It's time to pay up and go to slavery, okay? And the, the, uh, the heavenly Father through His Son is going to put y'all in slavery, man. All right. So the Lord is going to have y'all have your last wura, your wura. Y'all y'all going to have your last run, and that's it. The Lord is going to uh, say, "Show is over." Time to lock down this kingdom, all right, and turn to dust. Just like how you're gonna do uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, all right. Just like how you did Sodom and Gomorrah. Excuse me, all right. What did the Lord did in Sodom and Gomorrah? Burned that place with fire and brimstone. And then he said, "What? This is the spiritual Sodom and Egypt, and this place is gonna get burnt with what? Nuclear missiles, all right. Nuclear missiles is about to be shot on this place, man. World War Three is gonna be declared, and uh, the nations is gonna shoot missiles." Coming towards America, the whore, the beast of, 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 of the world, man. All right, the lady of kingdoms. All right. So, Lord willing, this is edifying, man.
Let's read Ezekiel, the prophet Ezekiel, who got the mysteries and the messages by the Heavenly Father, all right, about what's going about to happen to a, a, a society in, in a couple of thousand years. And notice, Yahweh Bashim Hashai had spoken to prophets thousands of years ago about the ending of every kingdom. Okay? Let's start out with the book of Ezekiel. And we, this is beautiful because our, our, our kingdom is about to be established. You want to keep on working uh, uh, 60 hours a week to, got, to, to, uh, to pay your rent, pay your car insurance, or take, take care of your, your angry woman. <laughs> the reason why I say she's angry because she is, these women are drunken with uh, the American philosophy. They are drunken with lies. They are drunken with the, uh, uh, the establishment of what the so-called white man said they could do. Oh, you could, you could, you could run your house. You don't need no man. You could be single. You could go out there at three o'clock in the morning, not thinking there's a, a van at the corner waiting for you. You could do whatever you want. This is the society we live in, man. And then the men have become uh, uh, demasculated. Okay, if that's the word, the men have became demasculated, meaning they have been destroyed. Toxic masculinity. They they're giving worship and reverence to women when they're supposed to be giving worship and reverence to the uh, heavenly Father, Son, which is Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. You men have lost your, uh, uh, your mojo, all right? Y'all have lost your, uh, your uh, uh, manlyhood, all right? So the true alphas in today's society is the men of the Lord going out here preaching the word of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man, okay? But we know in that time, Jacob trouble come. You niggas can't save yourself, man. You don't know the heavenly father who is son. You don't know the son, matter of fact. You can't, you're going to get destroyed, man. And that's what it is. All right, you don't know the name of the heavenly father and the son. You're gonna be out there. You're gonna be out there for the taking. How much more are you women who scream and how y'all can't even fix a car tire? Y'all can't even uh, 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 goddamn. Y'all can't even uh, uh, help yourselves, man. All right, been proud all all these years. All right, been drunken with feminism. All right, women liberation. I've been drunk with a whole bunch of lies, man. And that's gonna get y'all taken away. All right, y'all about Shema is gonna fuck y'all women up, man. All right, the scripture said, "Do I read rude speech?" Yeah, I still prophesy. But, anyways, enough rant ranting. All right, I'm gonna get um, Ezekiel chapter three, uh, book of Ezekiel chapter three, verse seventeen. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman. Unto the house of Israel, which consists of Negroes, Latinos, and Americans. All right, we are the children of, of the Heavenly Father uh, through His Son. All right, we are Yasharala, which is Israel. All right, our forefathers is Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Just like how these so called white people they like to worship the Thomas Jeffersons and the uh, George Washingtons and the Abraham Lincoln. That's their forefathers, right? But how our forefathers was following the Heavenly Father throughout the wilderness, man. Okay. So we, we have a power to go back to, all right? Why do you think our people back in the um, the Assyrian captivity, when they came over there, they still have put the, the, the commandments on, on stones and walls to what? To give, uh, to give a message for the future of, of, of the descendants of Jacob, all right? To worship Yahweh through his son, Yahweh Shai, all right? It's a re in remembrance of our Lord, okay? And that's power within itself, all right? It says... Um, Scripture said, "What? I'm gonna stir up your remembrance. All right, I'm gonna stir up your pure mind. All right, you're gonna remember the former things." Roughly paraphrasing. All right. Anyways, son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. All right. What is a warning? We give them the warnings of the heavenly Father through His Son, man, about what's about to take place upon this upon this on this earth. Okay. The Lord is about to uh he's about to do some nasty things. Right? He got a lot he got a lot of judgment uh rest he got a lot of uh judgment plans for uh America and places like America, this wicked society. Okay. Verse 18. It says, So the Lord said, give them warning for me. Alright? It didn't say give them love for me. It didn't say give them peace for me. Give them warning for me. Alright? It's about to be hell on earth. Okay? When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, 
Nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way, eating the pork shrimp, lobster, being niggas. All right, just being complete degenerate niggas. Have your pants down, all right, all the way down to your kneecaps. Okay. All right, yeah, killing them, kill, killing each other, wearing uh, dreadlocks and blonde hair and uh, 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 um, um, all right, wearing dreadlocks, blonde hair, eating pork, shrimp, lobster, all right, crab legs, shellfish. Those, that's an abomination. You eat roaches in the sea, just like you see the cockroaches in your house crawling up and come, crawling up and down in the garbage cans. Is the same way that is the roaches in the sea crawling up and down in the, in the, in the, uh, uh, the garbage in, 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 the, in the water. Okay. All right. Lobsters is, is a delicacy. It's a, it's a it's a roach. Crab is a roach. Gar. That's a that's a, a, a roach fish. Okay. These are bottom feeders. Catfish. Bottom feeder. Okay. Just so you know. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. And thou, hello. It says, and thou givest him not warning from, not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way. All right. All right. Uh, uh, being an evil eye toward against, against your brothers. All right. All right. Being a murmurer. All right. Backbiter. And I, yeah, I may, let me get that a little bit after. Not speaking to warn the, the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, meaning to repent. All right, you heard this word. You walk past the prophet. You repent, man. You inquire about who, uh, who the heavenly father and his son is. All right. What is a Hebrew Israelite? Okay. All right. Putting away your, your abominable filth. Keeping the Sabbath. All right. Not having sex with your woman on the Sabbath. Not uh, 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 having a sex with your woman when she's on her period. Okay, a woman. It takes seven days for a woman to be clean. Sex is an unclean thing. Okay, this is why the Lord, all right, Yahweh through His Son Yahweh shall uh, uh, die for us, or right, to give us this grace and mercy to uh, be able to clean up our act. These are clean up our act uh, 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 moments. Being in this truth, man. All right, go. We're gonna fall six times if, 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 if you've been advised and instructed not to sleep with your woman during a uh, 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 monthly. And you end up doing it. The heavenly, the Lord may he gonna he gonna he gonna stripe you, all right. He gonna stripe you there, all right. But that doesn't say that uh, you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to get your mind right and just try not to do it again. If it happens again, repent. Be sorry, all right. Keep on repenting. That's what the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yashai like to see: a repentant, a broken, a contrite spirit, and, and a repentant heart. All right. Being sorry for the, your ways. Being sorry for your wickedness Because the so-called white man And the other nations They ain't repenting shit They're gonna keep on trying to Destroy our people They're gonna keep on trying to destroy life Alright They're gonna keep on rubbing uh, uh, Wickedness in the heavenly father To his son face now, Oh you can't stop us We're we gonna conquer forever Alright When realistically The Lord has the power to end Alright A uh, man's empire Alright He's in control of both Good and evil Alright If he if the Lord uh, gave you a plate of food through somebody, through a certain person, all right, because is the Lord put that righteous spirit to do that, uh, do that for you because you had done something good for Him, all right. Which is why we gotta fear the Lord, man. All right, because if you're doing something wicked, what do you think the result of being wicked is? Death. Okay, death is the result of being wicked, and the Lord do, do not delight in, in a wicked mind, man. Uh, it says to save his life The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity And when iniquity is sin on top of sin Alright you, you, When your sins stack up The heavenly father is going to look at look at uh, Your, 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 your uh, history report On oh, let me see. He uh, slept with the next man's woman He uh, kept up eating abominable foods He was proud uh, he, uh, And he blasphemed my name Okay no problem Write him off for judgment That's it <laughs> All right, nobody sins is going unaccounted for. White, we, 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 that's why we're trying our best. We still get judged, man, the men of the Lord. But we are in a better case than you people, some of you people who are just, majority of you people who would love to commit wickedness. All right, because the judgments that the Lord's going to bring is going to be horrible. Because the Lord's going to cut off the internet. He's going to cut, he's going to, he's going to shut down Egypt with uh, darkness, just like in the time of Egypt, he shut down the lights of Egypt was dark. And 
he just he saw nothing but evil spirits and apparitions. All right, but the children of Moses and the children of Israel was good because that was the heavenly father's sons. Uh, that was the heavenly father's children. All right, he said, "What? Let my people go so they can serve me." And Pharaoh, he hardened Pharaoh's neck. So it goes to show Yahweh Shemuel Shai was in control of both oppositions. All right, it was he was in control of both positions of good and evil. Pharaoh mind, he, Pharaoh got uh, proud and it started. Uh, he 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 increased the uh, the oppression. On the children of Israel, and then the Heavenly Father got more and more angry, and just started to send plagues of frogs, locusts, all right, hemorrhoids, hemorrhoids, all these bad things took place in Egypt. But that's what's gonna come back. That's what's coming back here, man. All right, a lot of evil things is about to come back here. All the plagues from Egypt, the Lord is about to bring it here. Anyways. Verse 19, yet as thou warned the wicked, and he turned not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered their soul. Meaning, we we came out here as instructed to go out on the highways and the hedges to preach, all right, who the nations are, who you are, Negro, Latinos, and Americans, who you are, all right? That's our job. We are here to tell you, you're, this is, you, you, you're a so-called white man. You're an Edomite. You're, you, oh, you're a so-called Negro, Latino, Native American. You're an Israelite. Oh, you're a so-called Chinese. You're a Moabite. All right. Everybody has a nation. Okay. Everybody' name is in the Bible, man. Okay. And then you got some Israelite foreigners, all right, who's scattered among the heathen nation. A lot of people would think they're oh oh he's a white man. No, he his spirit might go back to Israel. He might be a son of a, a, a seed of the um. Seed of Jacob, okay. But yeah, our people going through. Uh, yeah, some of our people in Europe, we conquered Europe. Yeah, some of our people in uh, Italy and, and France, okay. Our people scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. All right. So, but remember, we, we rule the uh, the Eastern. Um, we 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 rule Eastern Rome, all right. And, and Esau had West Rome, you know. So, so we still, hey, our people still uh, 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 amongst heathen, man. All right. And it says, yeah, and thou warned the wicked, and he turned not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way he shall die in his iniquity, but thou deliverest thy soul. Okay. So uh, basically, we warn, we warn the wicked, coming out here preaching. The highways and hedges, all right. Who our people are and who you nations are, all right. Begging the Lord to deliver us from this captivity, okay. Um, let's go to Isaiah 58. Cry out loud. Isaiah 58 and 1, verse 1. Cry aloud, fear not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and shew my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. And they said, oh, they, everybody has that spirit. Oh, God can't judge me. Well, 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 excuse me. Uh oh, only God could judge me. But guess what? The Lord just gave us permission to go judge you according to this word. Saying God, if you want you want God to judge you, you don't want God to judge you. He's gonna give you a final destination death. Watch that movie Final Destination 1, 2, and 3, and the last one, man. Those grievous deaths. That's when God judging somebody, man. Alright? This is mercy. Alright. The mercy of the Lord is when he when he sent his men to go uh, uh tell you people, y'all going off, y'all worshiping a uh, uh, sweet Jesus Christ, he ain't coming back. All right, that's that image that you see is going to slavery. According to Revelation 1 14, what it says, what his, his feet were burnt like unto a furnace. And what's the when your feet is burnt, look like it look like, and it's metaphoric, look like it's burnt unto a furnace. What's the rest of your body? You're a so called uh, 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 a Negro. All right, you're a dark, you're a dark skinned man. Okay, okay, and it says, Cry aloud, spirit not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. 
All right, and then you know you see how people love to worship a uh, sweet Jesus Christ. They like to worship the Santa Maria, the Buddha, the uh, uh, Shiva. All right, uh, the Hindu. All right, all these false idols. And they're not even gods. They're idols because they come from the heathen nations. All right. Now people reverence reverence these uh, uh, false idols. Egypt uh, with this kinetic this and the kinetic that the Egyptology they're all false man we are Israelites according to the Bible okay we are Hebrew Israelites all right so cry out loud spirit not lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression which is breaking the law of the Heavenly Father through his son man all right yeah our people Negro Latinos and Americans need to come back to the Holy Bible and repent and be sorry for their sins or else they die man all right, because the Heavenly Father is getting ready to judge a lot of our people according to these scriptures, man. All right. Show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins, which consists of the Negro, Latinos, Native Americans. Okay. Y'all make up the house of Jacob, the seed of Jacob, man. All right. Abraham, Isaac, to Jacob. All right. Remember the Lord, Yahweh, through his he uh, heavenly son, Yahweh Shai, blessed the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob forever and ever. All right. But now that our people, what, are uh, broken the everlasting covenant, the Heavenly Father, through His Son, sent, what, uh, uh, the other nations against us, put us on them cargo slave ships, with packed up like sardines, pissing on each other, vomiting on each other, shitting on each other, all right, uh, on our way to, a lot of us got, uh, got uh, a lot of us couldn't even make it to Amer the Americas, man, all right, a lot of us got, uh, got thrown off of ships, okay, our women got raped. Uh, our children got fed to gators All of that man On our way coming over here And we came to a land that we don't know Alright We came from the West Africans Alright You can still got some of our people in uh, uh, um, um, What do you call it In Senegal, Sudan Alright You still got some of our people over there Alright In the West Ghana, Nigeria Alright You got a lot of so called Hispanics From the uh, synagogue if you go to synagogue, they speak perfect Spanish over there. All right, that's Israelites, man. Okay, Israelites is over there. All right, so we ain't no uh, African American, Spanish, and, and Native American or Italian. But you got some of our people in Italy. All right, we are Hebrew Israelites, man. We are princes and daughters of the power, man. All right, but it, this word is not for everybody. Okay, this is only for the uh, uh, the chosen. All right, and that's what we that's what we preaching on. To we are here to gather. Uh, uh, we are here to call. Call out for the uh, for the uh, the sheep of Yahweh Shai, the ones that uh, could grasp this word and understand, and they could potentially be a part of the elect. We don't know, all right. The Lord does the sealing; we just do the preaching, all right. Yet they seek me daily, delight to know my ways, as a nation that did righteousness and forsook not the ordinance of their power, all right, of their God. It says, they ask of me the ordinance, ordinances of justice. They take the light in approaching to God. Verse 3, wherefore we have fasted, say, say they, and thou seest not. Wherefore have we afflicted our souls, thou takest no knowledge. Behold, in the day of your fast, ye find pleasure and exact all your labor. So only, only the, uh, the, the, the remnant of Yahweh Bashim is going to understand this word and come back. Okay, me, y y our souls is being inflicted because we are we are, we are, we have basically sinned against the the power, man. All right, we sin against the heavenly Father through His Son, right? which is why we're in this condition. Only the elect is going to understand this. Not all the Israel is going to get this, man. Okay, so let's go to uh, Go to Revelation chapter 11, verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lay in the street of the great city. What's that great city? America. All right. Our dead, our dead bodies, meaning we, we were deprived of the, the breath, all right, of the Heavenly Father through His Son, meaning we, we didn't have uh, uh, the ordinance of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua within us. But now the Lord uh, had basically, uh, basically awakened our apostles, all right. And their apostles, all right, to understand this truth. Now we are back on our feet out here, man. Okay. All right. 
and we do believe through the spirit that our living is John the Baptist and King Mashat is King David. The spirit, the spirit showed us, man. And then we, we went with the spirit. Whatever the spirit say, we go with it. Okay? Lest we be deceived. Alright? But we will we're gonna know in due time. Alright? Because the Heavenly Father is about to get ready to raise up uh 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 dead men. Alright? From the grave. Just like uh and they only sleeping. Just like how you did Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father rolls up Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai is getting ready to raise up these men. King David about to uh, uh, sit back where he, he belonged, all right? As the king of Israel. All right? And their dead body shall lie in the street of the great city, which is spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Why? Why it says our Lord was crucified here? Because uh, the men of the Lord is preaching what? The true Lord. As you people are denying the true Lord, which is uh, Yahweh Shai, all right, which is a so-called Negro. Our people believe in that uh, uh, the Cesare Borgia uh, image, okay? So they they trying to uh, shut down this truth, as if it's it's um it's a crime to them. When this is their their, their, their uh, uh this is their um healing method, this is their ointment, okay? All right. And it says uh, Sodom and Egypt. Why is it called Sodom and Egypt? Because in Sodom and Gomorrah, you had a whole bunch of man to man, woman to woman, abomination. A lot of a lot of dudes is butt fucking and shit. You know, uh, uh, they were doing a lot of uh, wickedness in that time, man. All right, it was it was it was a uh, uh, profane outside of the heavenly Father's temple. Okay, in Egypt, in Egypt, it was oppression. All right. Uh, they, they try to, they try to, um, they try to t uh, control the Israelites completely, have them, have them in full control. Okay. Let's jump down. Let's jump down to verse eleven. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life entered into them. The spirit of what? The spirit of life from God. The spirit of life from God. All right, enter into them. And it says, and they stood up on their feet, and great fear fell upon them, which saw them. Meaning, the nation see us out here preaching the name Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, and they're in great fear, like, oh no, the Israelites, they woke up. Oh shit, we're finished. We're going to slavery. The God of Israel, he, he's being preached. We got to stop him. That's what's going on, man. They're trying to stop this truth, and they can't stop it, man. There's too much power going out. Okay? So those great men that stand up on their feet, all right, like just like uh, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Isaiah, they stood up on their feet to preach to the house of Israel. Like, listen, the Babylonians is coming. Yeah, how about Shema is getting ready to judge y'all, man? You know. So we're here, back here today, to preach the gospel of Yahweh Shai. Okay. Let's read, uh, uh, uh. Let's read Second Edges chapter fifteen, verse one. Behold, speak down the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which to say, which it means to say before. All right, which is a, uh, uh, which is prophets that was sent on the behalf of the heavenly Father through His Son to go preach prophecy to say before. All right, but we are living in a time of prophecy. All right, so we don't have to say it before. We are living in it. All we got to do is just preach the kingdom. <laughs> Basically, that's what it is right now. Okay, the elect is pre uh, preaching the kingdom. All right? Because we are living in a time where uh, the karagma is about to happen. Jacob trouble is about to be, uh, uh, is going to be on full on deck. Okay? Men, men of the Lord is going to have spiritual power. All right? There's going to be a great famine. Wild beasts are going to be roaming the street. All right, and the great salvation of Yahweh is coming. All right, Yahweh is getting ready to fight World War Three. Missiles going to be shot. Okay, all these things are about to happen in fruition. And it says, "Behold, speak down the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in your mouth." Saith the Lord, the Lord put what the words of prophecy in our mouth. So we're not speaking for ourselves. We are speaking on behalf of Yahweh Shai. Okay, and cause them to be written in paper. For they are faithful 
and true. Okay? Fear. So these words are faithful and true. That means it's going to happen, man. Whatever that's coming out these words, all right, is going to it's going to be manifest to happen. Okay? Let me see if I can grab Habakkuk. <coughs> the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 1. I will stand up on my watch and see upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am when I'm reproved, all right, when we see what our, our people getting judged, all right, by the, by these nations, all right, uh, uh, prophecy happening, okay, with with the, uh, the, 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 the Edomites coming in, trying to uh, uh, stop Israel, all right, we are watching, we are watching prophecy, we are watching the return of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, we are watching, all right, for the kingdom, and it says, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision, all right? Which, which means write, write the future, all right? So the prophet Habakkuk, uh, uh, through the heavenly father and his son, was writing, writing these things on the scroll, man, all right? Write the vision, write the future, and make it plain upon tables that he may run that reader, that the 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 uh mo the mark of the beast is the microchip, and that's what they're trying to implement. That's the next step in the prophecy. Okay, they are trying to uh they trying to they're gonna start setting up chipping stations, all right throughout the throughout the earth, all right especially in America. They're gonna start setting up chipping stations, and you people are gonna be lined up. And once you get that sucker, when you, once you get that that needle in your hand, either hand it doesn't matter. It could be the right, it could be the left. With the with the chip right right inside that needle, when they inject that chip, you are going to get burnt up, man. That's what it is. Read Revelation chapter fourteen, verse nine. All right, see what it says for the people who took this microchip. All right, that's the next step on a prophecy table. All right, this they they're about to finish up with the mandatory ma uh, 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 um, a jab. They're going to finish up with that, and the next step is the microchip. All right, which is gonna hold your data, your, your bank, your bank account. It's gonna hold your medical, uh, your medical history. All right, and you take that, you're going, you're gonna be burnt in fire by the nuclear missiles, man. Cause the nations, Russia, Iran, is starting to uh, uh, spool up, and they're talking about uh, uh, taking this place out. This is the problem with the Earth, America. All right, everybody who came here, all right, who's Who's coming from a whole another country? They come here, they be, they they become weird. They come weird and wicked. Women become become full of pride. They 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 they, they act like no man could talk to them. Okay. The dudes become bugged out. They be on the corners. All right, because the so-called white man ain't giving no fucking jobs, man. Okay. There's no there's no peace here. All right. While these these devils are living in their um in their sanity. The so-called black man is in hell, paying what, 15, 15 dollars an hour, which is like fifteen cents to them, paying nickels and dimes. You gotta keep in mind, we we was in a cotton field, we was on a cotton field working for free for these devils. So that's why the Lord had to put the, that's why the Lord had to turn the tables and put these devils in uh, slavery. And watch, we are gonna be gods, man. We're gonna have power this time. And we, when we have y'all in slavery, oh man. Be ready, cause them whips is coming out. We gonna start whoop, man, oh man, Esau. You better start. You better start uh, working out. You better start. <laughs> you better start uh, um, learning how to uh, sow seed. I mean, that was. Well, uh, you better start picking cotton. You know, you better start. You better start training on slavery, man, cause it's gonna be. It's gonna be a terrible captivity you about to go in. All right, we gonna put you white people in slavery, man. All right, and then uh, the, uh, the so-called Negro Latinos, the American, we're gonna be gods, man. We're gonna be princes. All right, we're gonna have our crowns, and we're gonna be whipping the backs of you, you nations, you so-called Chinese, you so-called white people, you so-called uh, Africans, you so-called uh, uh, Arabians. All right, y'all gonna pay, man. All right, so the next slavery is gonna be on a whole nother level. Um, it says. For the vision, of, let's read verse three, and I'm gonna read uh, uh, Revelation chapter 13, and it says, "For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie." And we at the end, and it's, the visions are speaking. 
all right people never thought that uh the world will be will be uh ended up had to take a jab and look what happened oh all you people are conspiracy theorists that's not gonna happen look what happened man the whole world had to take a jab to work to eat to play to they, you got to put on a mask to have sex this shit is weird man y'all want to keep on living this life this is why the heavenly father had to send his son to destroy this shit this shit is weird all right next you're gonna have to next next you're gonna have to uh, pay with a chip all right you take that chip the lord is gonna start doing the dippings okay you take the chip you're gonna get dipped by fire <laughs> all right it says for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie though it tarry wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry and then when it comes meaning it's already happening okay when one prophecy starts another one opens and another one and another one and it doesn't stop until the lord says so all right now let's read revelation 13. revelation 13 and 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. <laughs> he that leadeth into captivity. Who led the Negro, Latino, Native Americans, all right, and the Seminole Indians and the Israelite foreigners into captivity? The so-called white men, all right. And and it was an assistance with you uh, uh, Africans, an assistance with you with Arabians, all right. And that's what you uh, African, uh, you Arabians and Africans did. You saw. Our people, a boy for a harlot and a girl for a wine. That's what y'all did, man. You think y'all gonna be unaccounted for that? You, the so-called white man, the, the, the so-called white people, the so-called Africans and the so-called uh, Arabians, y'all gonna pay the har hardest, hardest in captivity. But you so-called white people, you devils did a lot, man. Y'all did too much. Hanging on a tree. Y'all made uh, ornaments out of us. All right, postcards out of us. Getting lynched, you know? Y'all gonna pay. Y'all gonna pay double. What y'all did to our people, the Heavenly Father, he he's gonna he's gonna fuck you devils up, man. All right. Okay. All right. Y'all y'all wearing our children as shoes. Y'all raped our women. All right. Cutting over cutting over cutting open pregnant women wombs to see what kind of baby it is. Yeah. Those those things those atrocities is not going unaccounted for, man. And all right, and you so-called black women, all right, you so-called black women, Latino women, and Native American women, all the heavenly Father through His Son is very angry at y'all, all right, because y'all humiliated the the, uh, the so-called black men, Latino men, and Native American men, all right. Y'all use y'all use deceptive tactics. Y'all use a uh, 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 witchcraft. Okay, y'all want to be like uh, the the so-called uh, white people in other nations. Y'all 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 uh, sell out y'all fronts. All right, sleep on a whole bunch of men and shit, just to humiliate us. Yeah, all right. The heavenly Father's gonna visit y'all. And I'm gonna get into that scripture after I finish this one up. Okay. He that lead into captivity shall go into captivity. He that kill it with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience of the faith of the saints. And we waiting for that, Lord. All right. We are waiting for these devils to go into captivity. All right. I mean, y'all gonna go into captivity, slavery, head, head first, man. We're going to the leaks, the Rockchild, Rockefellers, the Abrahams, the DuPonts, Gettysburg. We have to you devils, all right? Because y'all cause the, the, the damage on the earth. All right? I know I'm a little bit all over the place, but uh, global is edifying. Uh, all right, let's, let, let, let's, let's get on the woman. Let's get on the woman. Look, look what our women did to us, man. Made the men beta males, weak and effeminate and scared. All right, kicked the man out the house and raising sons. And the sons is becoming all, all, all emotional. Want to shoot at everything they see, rob old people and stuff like that. But the Lord said this. He said, um, um, let's read Isaiah chapter thirty-two. Isaiah chapter thirty-two, verse. Nine, rise up ye women that are at ease. 
all right? Oh, nothing's gonna happen to me. I'm gonna go at three o'clock in the morning and I'm gonna have a blast with my friends and I'm gonna diss niggas and say niggas ain't shit. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. All right, and it go, and it's not only our women; it go for you other nation women too. Y'all out of all out of order. Let's just give ear unto my speech. All right, many days and years ye shall be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. So your government, your 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 um your your your, your, your assistants ain't coming. Your um your police officers ain't coming to come save you in that time where we entering. Okay. Your uh uh your your ambulance ain't gonna come and help you. All right, you gonna you gonna be left there for dead. <laughs> you gonna be left there for dead, man. And it says, verse eleven: Tremble, ye women that are at ease, bear trouble. Ye careless ones, strip you and make you bear and gird sackcloth upon your loins. All right. <laughs> so when Jacob's trouble happened, all right, there ain't gonna be no protection from these guys out here for you women. They're gonna be against y'all. Right, they're gonna be, and you're gonna have some of the foreign troops coming up in here. They're gonna come and rape you women, man. All right, they don't speak no English, they don't understand nothing. All they know is, all they know is uh, to attack. All right, and then you got some of you are gonna get drafted too. Don't, let's not forget about that, man. I'm gonna get drafted in the army, and the Lord's gonna smoke you, man. <laughs> the Lord's about to smoke a lot of you people, man. All right, it says, They shall lament for the teeth for the pleasant fields. For the fruitful vine, what's the teat? Your 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 wick is gonna cut off. Your government assistance is gonna cut off. All right, all of that. Now y'all resorting to what? Only fans. Y'all making yourself more of a whore. All right. Y'all got resorting to these dating pages. You still making yourself more of a whore. All right. So the Lord ain't playing, man. Okay. Said so they shall lament for their teats. When you go into teats, that goes into a uh, your child. Uh, yeah, yeah, your um. Food stamps, all right. Government assistance, all that's about to stop, man. Okay. Upon the land of my people shall come up thorns, briars. Yeah. Upon all the houses of joy in the joyous city, meaning problem, briars and thorns. All right. The Lord's about to, the Lord's about to uh, um, make this place uh, in, in great trouble. Okay. All right. So let's read um she that living in pleasure is dead while she living because that's all these women are doing living in pleasure oh every americans you can do whatever you want come to the land of the free this is the land of the lies man this is the land of snares and death that's why psalms 23 said what yeah I walk through the valley of the shadow of death everywhere you go death is surrounded by you man you don't know if the you don't know up the block there's about to be a, a shootout you don't know if um goddamn of a, a van a black van is in the corner waiting for your ass. This place is death, man. She that live it in pleasure. We're going to get on the woman, man. Because they have they, they have basically destroyed the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American men for, for years now, since the garden. All right? First Timothy chapter 5, verse 6. But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. See, see? So these women are with their long nails and their eyelashes that touch the uh, uh, goddamn Eiffel Tower and wearing a uh, 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 horse hair that's down to their feet, look, look, looking like a fake ass Rapunzel or, or a Barbie doll out of a magazine. All right? They're living in pleasure. And the Lord said, you're dead while you're living. Oh, I can have more than one man, all right? I can have two men to marry at the same time, all right? This place is out of order. The, the, the scriptures say what, uh, but, um, Adam, um, man, not for the woman. The woman of the man. But everybody got this false sense of reality that uh, the man is made. The man is supposed to be made for the woman. Nah, you women are made for the man. <laughs> you know, you men. You got. You got to realize, you men out here, you, especially unique Negro, Latino, Native American men. You own your women. You own your women. All right. Even some of you heathen. 
Y'all know better. Y'all own y'all women. The woman, the, the the man is the woman's god. That's begin with the ne uh, ne Negro, Latino, Native American men. All right, you're you're the you're the woman's god, man. All right, because she can't protect herself. She can't go out there and go fight in a war against Russia. All right, she gonna get destroyed, man. You, that's why you women need to be at home cooking and cleaning. Taking care of the, the, the children, right, if you if you bear any, all right. Making a man, uh, uh, making a man happy when he come back from work. Not give him hell. Not give him a, a, a headache. Not stressing him out. You're supposed to, you're supposed to, uh, you're supposed to have your box wet and ready for him, man. You're supposed to have his meal cooked and prepared for him before before he can even enter that door. That meal is supposed to be on that table ready. Right? You ain't supposed to get angry at him. You ain't supposed to disrespect him. That's your Lord. You're supposed to be under subjection. But that's not going to happen until the kingdom comes, man. All right? Because Esau, this the so-called white man, had flipped everything upside down. Say, oh, you women go, go spread out your legs like, like a goddamn caterpillar. All right? And do whatever you want. And devour every man's penis. That's disgusting, man. All right? Um... Right. Let me see. I want to get a. Uh... So the man is not of the woman, man. All right, but the woman of the man. Here we go. First Corinthians chapter eleven, verse eighteen. Let's start at let's start at uh, verse seven. For a man indeed ought to cover his head for as much. Oh, excuse me. For a man. Oh, oh, excuse me. Let's start at verse six. For if the woman be not covered, let her also be shorn. But if she it, but if it be a shame for a woman to be shorn or shaven, let her be covered. Meaning, a woman's supposed to cover her head when she's praying, all right? Uh, and uh, she, she, she actually is supposed to be covered, all right? She's just supposed to be covered when she with her man. But in this society in America, the, the, the uh, American dream said, you women don't have to wear your, 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 your head wraps. Y'all don't have to, you don't have to uh, um, uh, respect your man. You, you could disrespect your man, do whatever you want. You know, put them on child support. All right, this is what the society promotes, man. Wickedness. All right, verse seven. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head. So you men, you're not supposed to cover your head on the behalf of your Yahushua when you uh, prophesying or praying. For as much as he is the image and glory of God, all right, which is the heavenly Father through His Son. But the woman is the glory. What? The woman is the glory. Of the man, so you supposed to you're supposed to give reverence and respect and worship your man. All right, and it says, uh, for the woman, for the woman, for the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. So, woman was created for the man, not man created for the woman. All right, who created us? Yahweh shot the heavenly Father, only begotten Son. That's who created us. Okay, for this cause ought the woman to have power on her head because of the angels. See, all right, because the Lord created who? He created man, not for the woman. He created man for himself. All right. So that's that's why that's why you men need a man to fuck up, all right, and come back to these scriptures, okay, and stop being a beta male, but. This society promotes sympathism, all right? Nothing but simps, all right? Simple-minded men, okay? All 
right? And we could get the precept for that. First Timothy chapter two. Let's start at verse eleven. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. Woo! First Timothy chapter two, verse eleven. Let the woman learn in silence. Me, a woman ain't supposed to usurp authority over men, nor they supposed to speak. All right, until, until given permission by her man. Let the woman keep learning silence with all subjection. And you women are rebellious, man. Y'all rebellious. Y'all hate subjection. Y'all hate obedience. Y'all hate order. It says, y'all women, women breathe and live off of chaos. All right? They live off of argument, ar uh, argument confrontations. Okay? They have, there's no order. And, and America do not promote order. They promote out of order. Okay, everything is out of order and in, in, in discourse. All right, they say it's okay women can wear pants and all right and get a yeast infection and and uh, get all these um, vaginal problems. But when you wear these wear these pants, even for men too, men is not really supposed to be wearing pants. They, we used to wear garments. All right, it, it gives us air. Like you get wear linen, it gives you air, it makes you comfortable. But this society promotes all different materials, all right? That's why our people have so much medical problems because they're not following the law, statute, and commandments with, in which the Lord set up for us to live a proper life, all right? The law, statute, and commandments wasn't created, oh, to be uh, proud about it. It's supposed to, it's, it was created so that we could uh, live and conduct ourselves better. That's it. But the faith is most important. And women do not have any faith. All right, but when they when when they in, the, in pain and distress, where are they gonna go? They're gonna go. They're gonna try to find the easy way out. But the men of the Lord, we're gonna we're gonna roll it through with the we're gonna roll it through with our Lord Yahweh Shai Spirit. We're gonna just roll it through. All right, because we are not weakened by uh, uh, the enemy's uh, uh, enchantments and his philosophy and his witchcraft. All right, but you women are weakened by what the enemies say. Oh, you cannot go to the movie theater if you don't have the the, the jab, you cannot go to the restaurant and have the jab. You cannot do this, that, and that if you don't have the jab. Shalakia. Yeah. All right? You know? Because y'all weaken. All right? He, the, you can, this devil, all right, he's against faith. Okay? He's a faithless creature. Because the Lord didn't impart in him any, any faith, man. Faith is only made for the Israelite man. All right? The so-called Negro Latino Native American man. All right, and that's what it is. Verse 12, but I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. You go to them damn Christian churches, the Catholic churches, you can see all these women uh, preaching. I'm like, what? <laughs> we, that, that's completely out of order. The, the Heavenly Father through the Son never set up that, that order like that. And oh my God, love me. Who your God? Satan is your God, all right? And it still go back to the Heavenly Father anyway because the, the Lord created Satan to deceive you fools, all right? We worship Yahushai, who's in, completely, in complete order, beginning with himself and the man. Satan put you women over the man. <laughs> but Satan still got to go back to worship our Lord Yahushai, okay? So everything goes back to the Heavenly Father anyways. Because the Heavenly Father created everything, man. Whether you people like it or not. And it says, but I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to use such authority over man. You, you see some of these videos, these women cursing out their, their man on the, on the street corner. Nigga, you ain't shit. You can't tell me what to do. Get the fuck out of my face. They're completely out of order. And the scriptures say not to use such authority over man. But to be in silence, verse 13, for Adam was first formed, then Eve. Who was formed first? And they say the woman is God. This place is this place is sick, man. Alright, it's psychotic. <laughs> Alright, you you people you people need a chill pill, a real chill pill by the Heavenly Father through his son, and which is the humbling of his sword. Okay. And it says, and Adam was not deceived. Adam wasn't deceived. Adam listened to the commandments of Yahweh. 
All right, he listened to the heavenly father's commandments. The woman was already, she was already transgression. She was already walking out in the garden just looking for something new to do. She didn't want to chill with Adam. She wanted to see something. She wanted to see somebody else. She already, she already, she already cheated on Adam without cheating on him. <laughs> and it says, and Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in transgression. She was deceived by the philosophies of the serpent in the garden. Which caused, which caused what? Adam to die from generation to generation to generation. This is why we, this is why we constantly dying because of you women. That's what happened. Yeah, y'all got proud and lofty, all right, and wanted to go see another man and see see what he had to say. Remember, the speech of another man is, is the um is is the spiritual adultery that's already being uh, manifested in, into the woman. All right, if if she has a husband. So she went to a she went to go find another man besides Adam, man, and that's what happened. The fruit that that the, 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 it was the it was the tree of knowledge, man, to know good and evil. But with knowing that good and evil and become God, you're gonna die, man. And that's what happened. But anyways, verse fifteen. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved. And what childbearing? So you women can't save yourself. Y'all need a man of the Lord to save y'all. If they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. So you sisters, all right, y'all you, you, doing a good job, man. Just listen, learn, and, and the Lord will bless you in due time. Okay, if you got a if you if you got a husband, hey, just keep on learning. If you don't got a husband, you better start shoot, shooting your shot at uh, the men of the Lord. Alright? Just sec secure your spot. But the Lord's about to turn shit up. But we in a time, we in a year of the how about Shimia Shai turning up. Alright? And uh Malik Micah 7 and 10. And it says, Then she that is my enemy shall see it. And shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is Yahweh? Where is the Lord thy power? And that's what, that's what these women say in their mind. That's why you men, when y'all sleeping, you better watch your woman with one eye. She ready to kill you, man. Your woman ready to kill you. Because she's, she's already, she already has Satan on her, man. These women got Satan on her. Look what she did in the garden. She didn't listen to one commandment that Adam told her. Don't be eating. Don't go eat any any food of the garden, man. And she, what she did? She went to go. Let me go find another. Let me go find some fruit to eat. And she ate the wrong fruit. She ate the fruit of wickedness. Cause the serpent was like, uh, "Thou shalt not surely die if you know some know, know something else." That's horrid. That's spiritual adultery. Then she that is my enemy shall see it. And same shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy God? That's what these women, they're faithless. That's what they say every day, man. They go, Oh, I can do whatever I want. Do what I want. Well. Hey, nobody tell me what to do. I'm going to a party. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to smoke a joint. Oh, I'm, I'm going to fuck with this nigga tonight. Oh, oh, oh tomorrow I'm going to fuck with that nigga. Oh, he cute. You know? She, she basically, she taunting at the Heavenly Father through the Son, man. These women got no order. They need a man to put them in order. A, a woman without a man is like a um, a house without a a house without a um what you call it? The, uh, the the a house without a roof. She's out. She's open for what? The exposures of the elements. And the elements is going to do what? Take her away. See, that's why it's important for a woman to have a man or be married unto a man. She's supposed to have one man, not multiple men. A man can have more than one woman. All right. So, cause remember, we are the glory of the Heavenly Father, Son, Yahusha, whom the world only called Jesus. Oh yeah, my eyes shall behold her. All right, just like that situation with that Miss America <laughs> falling down. <laughs> you know, Babylon is falling down. She is proud, man. All right, my eyes shall behold her. Now she shall be trodden down as the mire of the street. So you're going to be like complete shit on the street. All right? The Lord's going to take away all your comforts. All right? And he's going to make you suffer. All right? Then after you make you suffer, he's going, to put, he's going to give you a grievous death, man. If you don't, unless you find a man of the Lord, you you heathen women have no chance. Y'all already out for the taking, man. That was all involved for the uh, uh, the downfall of the Israelite of the Israelites. 
But you Negro, Latino, Native American women, y'all need to get right, or else y'all get destroyed. All right, and that's what that's the message. All right. But brothers, we are entering the time where the, the Lord Yahweh by Shimei Shai is about to raise us up and give us spiritual power. Okay. Let's read Wisdom of Solomon chapter three. Wisdom of Solomon chapter three, verse one. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and there shall no torment touch them. Meaning the the unbelief and the wickedness of, of this world ain't gonna touch us. All right, this, our souls is in the heavenly Father's hand through His Son. Okay, so no torment is gonna touch us. We got we got nothing to worry about, brothers. Okay. And the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, all right? And the departure is taken for misery. And they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. We are in peace because we got this truth. Maybe we go through our little hell, our little uh, affliction, all right? We, you know, we lose a job, all right? We lose our woman, all right? We end up being homeless, but we still have what? This truth, all right? We may be going through a, a lot of problems in our life, but we 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 ain't we ain't complaining about it. If we're going to complain, we complain to who? Yahweh Shai. We direct all our problems to Yahweh Shai, so we got nothing to worry about. And when we come together, it's a beautiful thing. All, even if we don't have no money, we still have each other, the brotherhood. All right. And it says, uh, verse four: For though they be punished in the sight of men. All right, though we be punished by in the sight of men, uh, get thrown in a concentration camp, or they put us under the guillotine, all right, they chop our heads off. Though we be punished in the sight of men, we don't know what's going to happen with the heavenly father God bestowed for the uh, the men of the Lord in the future because what th this this American empire is, is is falling. There's nothing here for this place, man. It's done. It's over. They're gonna roll out the they're gonna roll out the microchips. They're gonna roll out, they got the guillotines ready, they got the concentration camp ready. This devil is ready to come down with great wrath. But we're not afraid, man. Because we got this truth. We got the word of the heavenly father and the son. Alright? For we what does the scripture say? Uh uh uh. We can't do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. So you people, only only thing y'all do is y'all y'all fulfill a prophecy. Everybody, everybody's in, in, in prophecy right now, whether you believe it or not. All right. So it says, uh, "For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet their hope is full of immortality." And what we waiting for? Our kingdom. All right, to be gods. Okay. All right, to have peace and sovereignty forever, no more wars. Our women in complete subjection under the man. Not wearing pants and, uh, and uh, wearing different colored hairs and shit. They're going to be in complete subjection. And they're going to have their original hair down to their feet under the man. And a man going to have multiple wives. All right. What it says in Isaiah. Let me grab that real quick. I'm going I'm to close it up soon. Isaiah chapter 4 verse 1. And in that day, what day? The time of Jacob's trouble. The time where the earth is going crazy. man. The people killing each other. Uh, 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 army troops is on the road And that day seven women shall take a hold of one man Alright That day is fastly approaching But the way the streets is looking Alright It looks like you gotta protect yourself man You see a lot of cats nowadays Is carrying their weapons and shit But y'all carrying your weapons on the behalf of Satan Alright Y'all ain't carrying the weapons for the heavenly father through his son Cause the Lord is giving y'all to the, 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 the evils out there man you Negro Latinos and Native Americans in a lot of trouble with the Heavenly Father and the Son. He's going to start punishing y'all, man. And in that day, seven women shall take a hold of one man. Why are seven women going to take a hold of one man? One man because y'all can't save y'all so. All right? In that day, y'all going to know that y'all worthless pieces of shit. All right? And we're going to look at y'all like, huh? <laughs> I should have mercy on you. All right? But we got to think about it, brothers, that the Lord, how shall I have mercy upon us? If she, if she do something wrong, man, put that bitch to death, man. If, if you have spiritual power, because in that time, the Lord is going to give his men spiritual power. All right. And then we are, we are, we are fastly approaching that time, man. 
So you Negro Latinos Native Americans need to repent. You need to be sorry for your sins and all the wickedness that y'all did against the Heavenly Father through His Son, man. They have been mockers and scoffers against the prophets. But this is the Lord's program, and I'm not in control. I'm here to give a message. And that's what the angels do. The, ain't, what it, the word angel goes into messengers. We are just messengers of the Lord. And that day, seven women shall take a hold of one man. We shall eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. And how we take away oh, oh, how we how we uh, uh, take away a reproach of a woman? We have sex, man. All right. And from being you from the state of mind of being a calling a, a, a nigga woman and all of that, you're gonna be called a, a daughter, a daughter of the power. All right, you're gonna be called name. You're gonna be named at the the, the, that, the, that man of the Lord And in that day The branch of the Lord Be beautiful and glorious So seven women Gonna take all the one man that, So that's, that already cancels out That monotheism Alright we going, we going back to the Eastern style man Eastern way of living Alright Being uh, polygamous Alright As you this world say A man can have more than one woman If she don't have a, If she don't have a husband She could, she could have that man all right. Every man, they own, every man has the, their own set of women. All right. And that day shall the branch of the Lord be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and comely for them that are escaped of Israel. And that's how you know our Lord is a so-called black man. All right. The heavenly Father is a so-called black man, and whom the world only called Jesus Christ is a so-called black man. All right, and they got their they, they got their sons, man. They gonna take care of their sons in that day. But let's go back to Wisdom of Solomon three and six. It says, let's first five. Let's first five. It says, and having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded, for God proved them and found them worthy for Himself. See? Why are we going to be greatly rewarded? Because we're making our bodies a living sacrifice, acceptable service for the Heavenly Father through Son, according to Romans chapter 12 and um, 1. 1 and 2. All right? Verse 6 As gold is, is as gold in the furnace, have he tried them? How the Lord's going to put us in the furnace? I mean, in the, in the, in the trouble that's coming in America, man. And places like America, we're going to go through hell, man. All right? There's going to be a lot of uh, slaughter. There's going to be a lot of blood on the streets. Army troops on every corner. All right? Military checkpoints. All right? The so-called white man is going to come down with great wrath. Yeah, your, your America, your America that, as you know it, is, has fallen. Another fallen empire. Another fallen civilization. Just like the Roman Empire. This is the revised Roman Empire that the heavenly father through the sun hates. Where Yahweh Lord Yahweh Shai was crucified, laid up on the cross with the, by the Roman centurions and our people, man. Some of our people, two thirds of our, our of the Negro Latino Native Americans, has sold our, our Lord Yahweh Shai, man. You see them in the music videos. They got the guns, tattoos. This is that w wicked and adulterous generation seeking after after the sign. Who's the sign? Yeah, that the only begotten son was that there at that time. And what's the sign again? The prophets are out here again. All right, speaking on the behalf of Yahweh. All right, but the Lord had these the chariots of God, the chariots of God, the chariots of Yahweh Shimashai watching every activity on the earth, and they are coming back in great glory on the behalf of Yahweh Shimashai, man. But begin with Yahweh Shai with the the, the the fathership, and he's gonna be having a little ships coming out of that, those ships, and the, those are brothers on on those ships, man. So called Negro Latino Native American brothers. So-called black men on those ships operating those UFOs. Who in the world they call UFOs? They're coming back. And they come to laser beam people, man. And save the elect. As gold in the furnace, had, he tried them and received them as a burnt offering, making your body a living sacrifice. Let's see if I can grab it real quick. We'll wrap it up. Uh, 12. Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies, a, a, bodies a living sacrifice, not no more uh, animal sacrifice. We got to be the sacrifice. A living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, 
which is your reasonable service. And verse 2, it says, be not conformed to what world? To this world, this carnal world. Everything is carnality, lust, pleasures, all right? Uh, 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 uh. Sex everywhere, all right? Violence everywhere, adultery everywhere, all right? Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, all right? Get it, uh, uh, uh. Getting into the, uh, being a Hebrew Israelite and learning the Heavenly Father through His Son, learn the history of our forefathers, of what King David went through, what uh, uh, Jeremiah went through, Ezekiel went through, the Maccabee period, stuff like that, man. Renewing of your mind, that ye may prove that the, that what is good and acceptable and the perfect will of God. All right, making your bodies a living sacrifice, making yourself, a, making your body a testimony for your shine, man. To say that he's true. All right. Now back to the wisdom of Solomon, chapter three, verse seven. So as, let's start verse six. As a gold in the furnace, have he tried them? And how the Lord is, how the Lord Yahweh Shemayah is trying us? He's trying us on our American soils. All right. And other places like it. All right. Because you got brothers in Europe, you got brothers in Australia, you got brothers in Nigeria, you got brothers throughout the four corners of the earth. And they begin to try it. Brothers in uh, Tanzania. We got brothers that we don't know about that's preaching the word right now. All right? Although they don't got a camera, they still preaching the word. And it says, as gold in the furnace, have he tried them? All right? This place is the furnace. Nothing but hell here, man. All right? Financial hell. Okay? Physical hell. Mental hell. You name it. All the hell is here. Nothing but evil spirits here, man. Tried them and received them as a burnt offering. Verse 7. And in time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. That's spiritual power, man. All right? When the time the Lord gives us the Holy Spirit, we're going to start levitating. That power, it could come anytime, man. Shoot, raise out our eyes, disappear, reappear. All right? All these beautiful things. All right? Minimize. All right? Turn bigger. All right, especially running fast, flying. The Lord's about to do it. He's about to give us that spiritual power, man. Okay, and we're going to act, and the world's going to be amazed by what's going, what's happening on the earth. Like what? These men got powers, huh? They look like X Men out there. Yeah, your movies is real. Your movies is just preludes on what's about to happen in Earth. That's all it is. Everybody's gonna, everybody's gonna be like the series of The Walking Dead, cause they, they put them the the, uh, the graphites in your in your skin after you took the jab, so you might you might mutate if you took that jab. Verse six, Acts, book of Acts, chapter one, verse six. Uh, uh, wait, yeah. When they therefore were come together and they asked of him. Saying, Lord, would thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? So the disciples, the disciples that were kingdom minded, all right, they was worried about when the kingdom of heaven was going to be established, beginning with our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay, so now we really in that time when we get that spiritual power, like Lord, this is the time you're going to restore the kingdom, you know? And verse seven is He said unto them, but it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which. The Father had put in his own power. So meaning all prophecies must be fulfilled, not one jot or tittle, lest all be fulfilled until the uh, Heavenly Father destroyed this place. <laughs> all right. That's when we know when the kingdom of, uh, of, of Yahusha is going to be established. Verse 8. But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and and on all of Judea and in Samaria and the uttermost part of the earth, meaning the whole world is going to witness the sons of God. Okay? They're going to witness the they're going to witness power. Pure power, man. And that's true alpha male status right there. Pure power, man. Just, the so-called white man, little military gun, he's going to try to shoot bullets at us. We're going to take them joints. We're going to ricochet off of us, man. We're going to stop bullets in mid-air. Alright? We're going to uh 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 telekinesis just you just pick up a car with your hand and just throw that joint all right the lord is it it's a light thing for the lord to give us spiritual power the lord could just have the chariots levitate uh 
have a chariot come down low to us and give us that power, boom, you just out of nowhere, man. A shock of light. You see lightning coming out of our eyes and shit. All right? You gonna know when we have, when we gonna have that power. Oh, we ain't gonna be nice. We're gonna like uh uh many your house shies, man. Okay? It's gonna be like the uh uh uh, su uh what was it? Uh Ultra Instinct is like gods, man. All right? Floating and shit. You just floating it one one night, you just sleep, and the next thing you know, you wake up in the morning, you float in your bed. That power is real. All right? King David had that power. King David was slay, uh, uh, slay ten ten thousands of men. Saul had a, had slayed thousands of men. And what happened? King Saul, he was jealous of a David, slaying thousands of men. You got women dancing and cheering on David. You know? They was hating on... Saul was hating on David. So that house, that house is back today, man. The house of David is back. The Lord have re, he have revived the house of David, man. And the world is afraid of the house of David. Why? Because the house of David is gonna do mighty shit in this time, man. Spiritual power like no other. Jumping like, you know, running super fast, flying. This is what, this is what Esau uh, uh, cries for, that power. Okay, let's go to uh, Psalms 110. Psalms 110. And you women, you it's all about power, power over pussy, because you women gonna be flocking for protection from the men of the Lord when we have that power, man. Y'all gonna, gonna be like a bunch of uh, 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 pigeons, pigeons huddling up for uh, uh, bird cr uh, bur uh, breadcrumbs when you see a men of the Lord with that power. You gonna come down and then. We, we're gonna look at you. Then, then that's when that's when Michael seven to ten really gonna come into effect. We're gonna look at you with that power. And you're like, and what? You look at one of our exes and just fly away. You fucked up, bitch. Yo, know? you fucked up. <laughs> Lord willing. <laughs> anyway, Psalms one ten. Uh, Psalms one ten verse two. The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Rule thou in the midst of thy enemies, and that's our Lord Yahweh shine. He's gonna be ruling over you, you, you nations, man. He's gonna be ruling over you nations, and that's in the kingdom that's coming, man. All right, and he's gonna do it on this this time around too. All right, he gonna come for, he gonna go and conquer, man. King of kings, lords of lords, reigning in righteousness. All right, one and uh, one punch KO in World War Three. Because Russia, Iran, and they're their dominant forces, all right? And you know Biden, that stupid, uh, weird pedophilia president that y'all rooting for, he gonna, he gonna start up World War III. Had the other nations invade um, the American soils, all right? And these UN troops, they gonna, man, it's gonna be horrible, man. That's why the safe haven is, these, is the scriptures of the Bible. You know the heavenly father through his son and you are Israelite, you will be straight. You have nothing to worry about. Anyways, it says, The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion, rule thou in the midst of thine enemies. Verse 3. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power and the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning. Thou hast the dew of thy youth. All right, so you people are going to witness the sons of God. If we're going to be in, our, in the beauties of our holiness, beginning with our Lord, Yahweh Shai. All right. Verse 4, the Lord, the Lord has sworn, has sworn and will not repent and not be sorry. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Malak Tazadak. So we are after the order of Yahweh Shai, man. All right. We are after the order of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. All right, so be thankful, brothers. We got this truth, you know. And um, I'm about to close up shop. All right. All right, Psalms 111, verse 10. And a lot of people don't fear the Lord. They want to do whatever they want. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All right, where you get your wisdom? Your brain. All right, what you do with your wisdom? All right. Don't go involve yourself in a multitude that do evil. Stay away from the uh, uh, wickedness. All right. The fear of Yahweh, by Shem Yahshua, is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding. Have, mean understanding these scriptures. 
all right? Through thy precepts I get thy understanding. Have all they that do his commandments, his praise endure forever, man. All right? So, hey, we praise the Heavenly Father through forever and ever, man. All praises to Yahweh, Shemir, and Shai. And, um, uh, we gonna end it. I'm getting kind of cold. Psalms 33, verse 4, For the word of Yahweh, Shemir, and Shai is right, and all his works are done in truth. So he, all his works is done in truth. So if somebody got put to death, his works was done in truth. Somebody get a, a revived, his works is done in truth. Spiritual power, his works is done in truth. He loveth righteousness and judgment. He loveth righteousness and judgment. That's balance right there. Why somebody got shot in the head? Why somebody got a, a, a stabbed up? Or why somebody got raped, robbed? His righteousness, it says what? He loveth righteousness and judgment. That's balance. He's not all good. How could you? How could you have? How could you have a uh, 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 righteousness without judgment? Or how could you have judgment without righteousness? That's a power of balance. Your baby died in the womb. All right. Pre, uh, what you call that? Uh, what you call that? Uh, premature birth or, or any, uh, damn, abortion. The Lord did that. All right. It says, for the, the word of the Lord is right and all his works are done in truth. He loveth righteousness and judgment. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. So everything, all right, that's being done in the earth, that's on the behalf of the Heavenly Father himself through his Son. Okay? By the word of the Lord were the heavens made. By the word. Who's the word? His Son. He's the word. Yahawashai. Okay? Were the heavens made and all of the host of them by the breath of his mouth and the host of them is the angels which created help created the uh, uh the the uh the heavens and the earth all right which is the alahayim when you when you hear uh what's his name this devil this demon here um uh, kendrick lamar he said the elohim that that goes into the the angels the alahayim the powers they they created the heavens and the earth and who instructed the angels the, our, the only begotten son of the heavenly father, Yahweh Shai. So we created the heaven and earth. Okay? And it says, he, uh, 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 By the word were the heavens are made, and all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth, he gathered the waters of the sea. And it says, As and he, he lived up the depths of the storehouses. Let all the earth fear Yahweh. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. You know? And that's what it is, man. All right. And we're just going to um, close it out with Proverbs. Man, I'm cold. Proverbs. Let's close it out with Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 32. And we're going to close it out to verse 36. Now, therefore, hearken unto me, O ye children. For blessed are they that keep my ways. So the men of the Lord is going to keep the ways of the Heavenly Father through the Son. Or keep the law, such commandments, and stay away from evil. And stay away from the polluted doctrine out there. All right? We're going to constantly uh, endure until the end. Hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that hear feet watching daily at my gates. Watching for who? Yahweh shall I return. Blessed is the man that hear me. So the man come first, then the woman follow after the man. You women are groupies and followers. You're supposed to follow what your man uh, tells you what to do. You ain't supposed to disrespect your man or disrespect men. You're supposed to give full respect uh, to the authority of men. Because men made up this world and this earth, man. They gave it the Heavenly Father through His Son. And they're men. God is not no fucking woman. All right? He's a man. All right? The Lord set up the Israelite man, the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American man, to be what? Judges of the earth. Anyways, and he made the earth for our sake. So you women are supposed to be in subjection. Help meet. What the word woman goes into? A female servant. And none of you women are female servants. That's why the Lord got to uh, uh, restore the earth. He has to renew the earth and restore the, uh, the righteous uh, uh, rulership of Israel. All right? Because right now, the kingdom is in, is in suspension right now. 
all right because we we went off and broke the the everlasting covenant so our people is in the worst case scenario today man they're like on their face they're they're along with the roaches but the lord is going to change all of that in very near time lord willing 2022 all right our kingdom is established but let's let's end it this is the man that heareth me watching daily at my gates waiting at the post of my doors for whoso fighteth me fighteth life and shall obtain favor of the heavenly father himself yahweh so yahweh shai is speaking this so we favoritize yahweh shai we're going to obtain the favor of the heavenly father himself yahweh and we're going to close it out but he that sitteth against me wrongeth his own soul all they that hate me love death and the lord willing uh you know we, we endure until the end all right just keep the faith and keep strong and we must out of here man all right because death this place is a representation of death and america is going to fall by the missiles and, right, and the sword of yahweh shai all right with the chariots so spiritual powers coming brothers stay strong out there all right if you don't got a woman don't worry about it the lord heavenly father all right is going to bless us in due time man get your women in the kingdom that's what matters most all right, so we're going to end it. End it by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakatadash, Rakatay Yahweh, Rakatay Yahweh Shai, Rakatay Yahweh, Rakatay Yahweh Shai, Rakatay Yahweh, Rakatay Yahweh Shai. Double honor and respect go to the apostles and elders of great millstone who well and teach well and lead Israel by great example to this day. Peace and citation go to the elect. Teaching and preaching his truth and his righteousness, purity, and sincerity, and waiting on Yahweh Shai, whom the world only called Jesus Christ for salvation. Quam Yasharala, Quam Yasharala, Quam Yasharala, and above all, death to America, Shalom on Makim, stay strong in the spirit, must out of here with the salvation of Yahweh Shai. Shalom on. Keep the faith.